say so. I mean, she just, you know, you can tell when somebody would be like preferring that you weren't walking around the house naked past your camera. I don't know. It's 2022. I think we've all seen a man's penis online now. What? I just figured I'd uh, take a drive up to the Target. Haven't been up there in a little while. Figured I'd just sit here and rap at you guys for some time. Um, I put my hair up. <laughs> so it should be an interesting time. I always want, like, I forget that I have done these horrible things to my face and my head and things. And um, sometimes I'll just be, like, walking through a store and I'll, like, somebody will, like, stop in their tracks because we... Even in Oregon, even in this day and age, somebody's gonna stop and look at this. I feel like I've gone back to the 80s. I feel like I'm back in high school, although I never had the balls to sport something like this in high school. I had the attitude on the inside. But now that I'm married and I'm in my 50s, I don't give a shit, you know? like. I should have done this in high school, though, because, like, the girls in high school never gave me the time of day anyway. I should have gone for broke, you know? Just 100%, whole way. I mean, you know, I've been having these dreams, though, too, about being back in high school. I wonder if any of my, uh... I, I know that one guy I went to high school does watch the channel occasionally. <laughs> but, uh, he'll tell you, I wasn't, I wasn't nearly as, as I am now. <laughs> anyway, uh, see you up at Target. And here we are. By the way, welcome back to Monkey Shine Lab, everybody. You are watching Monkey Shine Lab. Look up the word Monkey Shine. Google it. Then you'll understand. Good long placement of the foot for luck. By the way, Riddler on the right. Shazam on the left. Absolutely nothing. In the main lines. Bummer. Still looking for those gold Batmobiles, Andre. They have not appeared here yet. And nothing in the matchbox either. So glad I made this trip. I thought there would be something new by now. But I guess not. All the same old, same old. Oh, cool. That struck. I like the other one better. Sword is ridiculously stupid looking. Um, what the? What the, the hell is that? <laughs> All right, I always see that. That was strange thing to do, but now I don't. My 
my head meds are messing with me. <laughs> um, well, there's nothing at that Target. Let's go take a look at some other places. And I'm going to just go home. There, look, there's nothing out there right now. And so uh, it's difficult to come up with new material for, for, for old toys. I'm looking to see some new stuff, which the Moon Knight uh, stuff and the, you know, the Marvel Legends was, was new, but good gosh. On your feet or on your knees, Blue Oyster Cult. Last stop. And then I'm gonna pull the plug on this because it's just unproductive to be, sorry about the flashing. It's unproductive to be out there hunting when there's nothing out there. So I'm gonna go home and put those energies into another hobby of some kind. But uh, let's check out the disappointment, see if they got those DVDs on sale yet. Um, they do this thing every year where they sell off their promos and shit for like five bucks. So you can get a whole season of a TV show for $5. It's a pretty good deal. So anyway, let's go in and check out what they got. Probably a whole lot of nothing, but we'll do it. We'll do it for you all. Well, now I'm gonna have to uh, kill all the audio from this, but um, you see what I'm talking about. We got them all up and down here now. All right, so nothing happened into my stove. You can get some underwear though. <sighs> Thing kind of new going on outside of lots of just trucks. <laughs> Nothing but Jimmy Eats World on the radio, really, really, really loud. So, yeah. So, yes. Yes. Um, a couple movies you want it? Five, no, four bucks for that, and uh, ten bucks for that. on vegetables, man. Uh, so they did actually have some of the promo stuff I've talked about in the last couple of days out on the floor over at the Wally. -E. Check your local Walmart if there's stuff that you're looking to own. I always advise picking up physical media. Um, you know, the streaming thing is great. It's very handy on my phone and stuff like that. But in actuality, it's putting you on the end of yet another dog leash. And so if you own the material outright, you can play it in your disc player anytime you want to. And you don't have to worry about somebody charging you a monthly fee in order to do that. Uh, you know, that's just me. I like to go out and spend five bucks on a movie rather than spending whatever it is for the streaming service or for like Disney Plus so that I can watch the Avengers again. Uh, it, it makes uh, more than a bit of 
sense to keep physical media of a small collection, even, the CDs and DVDs, Blu-ray, whatever, it makes sense. Um, anyway, so I did, I got uh, a, a $9.70 copy of Morbius on Blu-ray, and I got a $3.75 copy of Mortal Kombat on DVD because I just don't care about it that much. But I did want to get, uh, I did want to get the other one on Blu-ray and they have uh, Uncharted on Blu-ray, which I may go back for because I really enjoyed the movie and I thought I was going to absolutely hate everything about it. But it's actually really good. And, um, you know, if you like Tomb Raider and, um, uh, you know, Indiana Jones, that kind of thing, um, it's very much in that vein. And then if you're a fan of the games, it doesn't look like they gave a rat's ass about bringing the game into the movie in terms of presentation or plot or anything, you know, outside of the main character. And you're like looking at Mark Wahlberg thinking, this is not Sully. And you're like, look at, you look at just about every character with the exception of the, um, of Chloe. And you go, well, what are they doing with this? If you just let yourself ride through the movie, by about three quarters of the way through the film, they start giving you a lot of nods. They're subtle though. It's not like watching Uwe Ball do House of the Dead or whatever, you know? There's no video game to it. It's just really good adventure. Good chemistry uh, from the actors, honestly. And if you wait through the whole movie and get through the all the post credit scenes you will be rewarded if you're a fan of the uncharted games that's my that's my opinion jersey i know you've got a little bit of a different idea about it <laughs> but um anyway that's that's the way i feel about that film and so i will own a copy of that someday but a little bit more of my philosophy of shopping and buying things to own. If a movie is extremely popular, you can wait until you get to the resale shop stage for a lot of these films because people will buy Blu-rays, they'll buy DVDs, and then they will wind up in resale soon enough. Um, one of the films that I wanted to pick up at this sale here today was um, The Eternals but they want like over $10 for the Blu-ray, or for the, excuse me, for the DVD, which is insane. All that is is the studio trying to recoup on something they lost their ass on. So still haven't purchased The Eternals yet, still haven't seen it, and you know, my life is not, any of the words for it. So, anyway, I'm, I'm on my way home now.